Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today we'll be retouching this image that you see on my screen right now. Alright, so this image was taken back in 2015. Let me show you guys. 2015, that was May. And, um, hmm. I actually used my Nikon D5300 to do this photo shoot and it was done in my studio it was a one light setup as usual from ever since i've been shooting one light setup also this is a jpeg image i wonder if i should put this image in the description so you guys can download it uh and edit along with me i'll think about it <laughs> just check the description for the image also guys you need to check out my new uh page that i have started there's nothing on it right now i see you have two subscribers one is me and one is somebody else i don't know I want you guys to follow this page. I'll be putting more personal stuff on this page, maybe traveling and stuff like that. So I want you guys to check out this page and also follow it because I'll be coming with some really nice content coming soon. Alright, so let's get right to the video itself. Alright, so the image is a JPEG image as I've mentioned. I was going through some um, pictures on a CD, a DVD and I found the, uh, these images. Actually I have all of my old images. Let's get right to the editing. So the first thing I'm going to do is to crop the image. So I'm going to come over here to the crop tool. And as you guys know, I always crop my images. So I'm just going to use the arrow key. I'm going to move it up to about right there. And I'm going to crop it, enter. Uh, I think this is good. All right. I've edited this image before. It's I don't think it's on my Instagram page because I deleted most of my old photos. So yeah. So what I'm going to do now is to first remove the pimples from the model's skin. So I'm holding down on shift. When this image is zoomed in, you can just drag it. So I'm using my mouse. So I'm going to create a new layer. What I always do is to edit on the layer itself. I don't know. I just love editing on the layer itself. So I'm going to come over here to the patch tool. And then I'm just going to use my pen. You can ch check the description as well for the pen uh, for the graphic tablet I'm using. So all I'm doing is just removing the blemishes from the model's skin. Alright, just like that. Just like that. Her makeup was actually done by uh, Trissy W. You can find her on Instagram. I haven't worked with her in a very, very, very long time. She has migrated to the States, so yeah because of that we haven't done anything recently and as you see this image was from 2015 so that was a long time ago <laughs> all right so i was actually doing a series i was doing a fruit series at, 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 at this time um so yeah i think i should start about my fruit series again i think I, I need to start doing series again but i've been so busy i haven't really you know found the time um, to really do series anymore, but seeing that I have a YouTube um, channel, I think I need to start doing some series again. All right, for some reason, Photoshop is acting up as usual. All right, so I think that is it. I don't think I need to remove anything else from the image. So I'm going to come up here to the frequent separation action. This action is a 16 bit action, guys. So, um most of you guys been asking me uh, for an 8-bit action because of the JPEG. Actually, I don't. I really don't think you need it. Trust me. Because right now, this is a 8-bit a image. And I'm actually using um, a 16-bit. See it? 8-bit. And I'm actually using a 16-bit. Um, what's this? Uh, action to edit the image. I don't see a difference. If there's a difference, honestly, I don't see it. Alright, so I'm going to press M on the keyboard for the mixer brush. The mixer brush is nested on the brushes my shortcut for mixer brush is the m all right so your mixer brush is going to be b so you can hold on and shift and b until not shift yeah shift and b until you see the mixer brush and the mixer brush looks just like that ensure that the mixer brush is cleared ensure there's no color here two percent for the wetness everything else remains the same and do not click sample all layers you can download this action on my website and check the link in the description as well i'm going to use the bracket right bracket on the keyboard to get the brush bigger and i'm just going to take my time and 
um, flatten the image. So let's look at the before and after so far, before and after. You see how powerful the mixer brush is. It flattens the image and bring everything together. Alright, if you still have my old um, action that has this, the 8-bit, you can maybe just use the 8-bit, but trust me, I don't see the difference. There may be a difference, uh, but honestly, I don't see it. So, I And I always use, I always shoot raw, so I don't necessarily need the 8-bit. So you see what I'm doing, guys? I'm just taking my time and just uh, mixing. You don't want to apply too much mixing at one point or one section. So I'm just lowering the brush to do the nose bridge. Side of the nose, side of the nose. I'm going to come here. Everything in one. Now I'm going to come to the chin again and do there. That looks good. going to come down to the neck. And the chest hold on on space bar and move it up all right it's good over this side I think I need to I'm gonna right here is showing a part of our arm and I'm just gonna use the patch tool and press J and it's gonna remove it go down to the low layer and do the same thing again and it's gone good so I'm gonna go back to the top layer and no I'm gonna go back to the low layer I'm gonna work on the hands right here I really need to start doing a series again I'm definitely gonna start doing it because I have a few makeup artists who would love to work with me so I'm gonna do it pretty soon trust me all right so let's look at the before and after for everything so before and after before and after just using the mixer brush you see how powerful the mixer brush is very powerful guys <laughs> all right so the next step now is to let me just close this I'm gonna go to uh, watch this dodge and I'm gonna do some highlighting right now and the highlighting is basically just highlight the highlights all right so I'm gonna get my brush a little bit small. I'm just gonna highlight right here a little bit. Sometimes if the image is already highlighted, you don't necessarily have to highlight it anymore, but yeah. And some sections may be dark and you want to get rid of the um, shadow that's there. All right, I just made some adjustment. Guys, you see what I was doing just now? I was actually making the adjustments and I'm on the mixer brush tool and nothing was happening so ensure that you're on brush and your flow should be at 1% I'm gonna do it again this happens to me a lot of times trust me I was wondering why the shadows are not removing from under the models um, nose it was still there and guys remember if you're going to use this image upload it to the group you can check the link in the description as well for the group do not upload it to your Instagram page upload it to the group so I can actually give you I can critique there instead of doing it publicly Well, the group is kind of public but it's private it's a private group so I want you guys to use the group instead of using um, Instagram because there are times I really want to you know give you guys pointers and I can't because I don't want to come off you know negatively so I, I rather do it in a private area you know so I want you guys to put it inside the group and not on your social media and do not put your logo on the images please all right so now that we're finished with doing the dodge we're gonna move on to the burning now so we're basically shaping the face so I'm just gonna use the left and right bracket to get my brush bigger and smaller so I'm just gonna do the dark areas here I was actually using the Alien B flash to do this photo shoot. 
and I still have that Alien B right now in my studio. Just that I don't have a battery for it, but I can still plug it in. So I think that is it. Don't think I need to do anything else. Let's look at the before and after for the dodge and burning only. Let me put this in a group. And to put it in a group, what I did was to, you know, just highlight both by holding down on Alt. And then I press G, not Alt, Control. And then I press G um, to put it in the group. So this is D, ah, DB. What did I just do? <laughs> I just zoom in the screen. I think I need to press Z. What the heavens did I just do? Let me just press escape. Oh my. I don't know what I... What the heavens? Alright, what I did was to press control. I think I was holding on control when I did that. Uh, full size. Oh my. really don't know how to get myself out of this I think I may just have to restart my computer and I lost everything I think I I had I have the automatic save on so all right so I'm gonna stop this video and start it again I'm gonna restart my computer okay guys so I actually figured out why the screen was acting up like that I actually have a shortcut to zoom this the screen in when I'm actually doing a screen recording and this is what happened i press insert that's my shortcut and that's the reason why that happened actually so <laughs> i did not remember that insert was the shortcut and i think yeah i pressed insert by mistake so now i know good so now we're back to the editing so i, I wanted to show you guys what the before and after looks like with the dodge and burn done so that's the before and that's the after good so the next step actually would be coloring the image right so it's pretty simple I do it in all my videos I always come to um, blue and add blue in the shadows but let me show you how I normally do that without using the shortcut so what I'll do is to come here to where it says um, shadows wait where is it it's color balance um, yeah this little thing here with the balance if you don't have the um, adjustment layer up you can come down here to the adjustment um, action here or uh, uh, adjustment panel and then you can go to color balance to um, make your adjustment so color balance and what I normally do is to go to shadows and then I just add five or six percent to the shadows so that's basically what the action here will do for you all right so that is it um i think i am done i don't think i need to do anything else don't think i need to do anything else i was actually analyzing the image i think i i wonder what would look like if right here is dark if the hair is dark as well hmm let me try something i'm just gonna try something i'm going to try something see what it see what it looks like just gonna sample right there fill this with black and then I'm gonna get my pen tool I'm just gonna try something and see what it looks like and then I'm just gonna make a selection right here let's make a selection I want to see what it looks like computer is moving a little bit slow because yes, I'm converting a video again. So it's moving. A little bit slow. I'm just gonna add. Mm, I think I like this better. I think I like this better. I think I like this better. What do you guys think? <laughs> I'm just gonna add. Hold on. Wait. I'm gonna start it from. Hey, what are you doing?
I'm gonna start it from here come right around here or right, maybe what I could do is just a darkener here a little bit okay so the so I'm gonna delete this as well actually I think I like that better what do you guys think <laughs> I like this better and I'm not going to print this image so I mean yeah I'm just gonna make a duplicate of it and then I'm gonna see if I could actually no I can just hide it hide both of these and then make a duplicate of this and then I'm gonna try to darken it a little bit so I'm gonna go to um, color balance not color balance why am I talking about color balance I'm gonna go to camera raw then I'm gonna darken it I mean there's many different ways you can darken it but I'm gonna use color balance and see if I can bring down the highlights all right highlights is not going to work for the hair but i could change the color of the hair i think i could use seeing that it's red maybe i could do this minus red no no yeah i could go minus red maybe minus orange as well nah <laughs> Ah, you can tell me in the comment what you would do to change the color of the hair. I would just cut it out or I, could, I would just use the brush and just brush it over. Yeah, I mean, I don't have the time to go through this right now. But definitely I would figure it out. Alright, so that is my finished product. I love this image. Um, the only other thing I would maybe change, I, I would maybe try to match the hand with the body a little bit. Let me see if I could just get curve and bring down the curve a little bit then i'm going to click on the layer the mask then i'm going to control i to invert then get my brush at about uh, 14 percent and then i'm just going to brush the hands a little bit darker yeah that's that don't think i need to do anything else so guys if you've learned anything from this video give me a thumbs up like subscribe and I'm going to put this image in the description for you guys to download. Actually, it's going to be on my website. So you guys just look for it and edit the image, upload it to the group only and not on your social media. If I see you upload it to your social media and you tag me, I'm going to ask you to remove it and upload it to the group. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one and follow my personal page. Guess what, guys? I am almost at 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers. My internet is going in and out for some reason. See, I'm at 4,905. Is that what it's saying? Or 4,900 and I don't know. <laughs> but I'm almost at, um, I'm almost there. So thank you guys for watching and have a good one. Bye-bye.